Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. For those of you in the UK, I hope you are getting through lockdown and everything is good for you. Today I have a very cozy autumn winter order that I did to share with you guys. And this video is a paid partnership with Misguided. They very kindly offered for me to pick out quite a few things. Like I picked quite a few things and they asked me to share them with you guys and I could not say no because there was actually some really great stuff on their website. I definitely went down a very autumn, winter, like cozy at home hole. Whenever I do orders, like they always seem to have themes at the moment and I find myself gravitating towards certain things and it's definitely like autumn, winter, cozy vibes today. As many of you all know, Black Friday is coming up, but Misguided have now decided that every day for them is Black Friday throughout November. So there are some really great deals on their website. I will link it below if you want to check it out. But let's get into this. Let's dive in because there is a a lot of autumn winter cozy goodness for me to get into oh this dress that i'm wearing is actually like item number one it's really cute i will do a little cutaway and show you how i would style it i really like it it is gorgeous and i feel like it is a contender for my christmas day dress we will see okay the hair is going up this is how you know that i'm going into trying on clothes mode so this is the dress in full i love this dress and it's very rare that i find a dress there's a mirror over here by the way it's very rare that i find a dress that i love at this time of year that isn't like a midi kind of like fitted dress this is like a perfect like could work through spring and summer but also in autumn and winter kind of vibe i really like it so cute i'm not just gonna stand with no shoes on i'm actually gonna show you how i would style this i thought i would show you it on so I'm going to be showing you the dress with my Chloe Tess bag, which I would probably wear like cross body. I think that could be like kind of cute. And then I've got some and other stories boots on. I love the brownie tones running through this dress and I think it works really nicely with other brown tones as well. But anyway, there's another pair of boots for those that prefer an ankle boot that I'm going to show you next. But I love this one. It's just super autumnal. The boots obviously come up so high on the leg, which is amazing for this time of year. If you do feel the cold a bit more, these kinds of boots really help to keep your legs warm. You can also wear like longer socks underneath them, which really helps keep you nice and toasty. The long sleeves on this and the elasticated cuffs will also help to keep you really warm as well, as well as the elasticated neck. So really it is made quite well for this time of year, I think. Oh, I just love the pattern on it as well. It's so beautiful. So yeah, that's kind of one way that I would style it. So this is the dress pair with some little brown croc ankle boots. As you can probably tell, I just love brown croc. It's the perfect texture and tone for this time of year. And a brown and black bag would also help if I wanted to wear a black boot, it would help tie all of the tones in quite nicely together. I could also go for my Givenchy and to go in a little white bag, which Sadly, it's not in the house, but it would look really cute with this as well, with little brown boots, and you just have the cream tones and the brown tones mixed together, and I think that would be really nice. But yeah, I can't decide if I prefer the knee-high boots or the ankle boots. Let me know which is your preferred way of styling this dress. I know some people just love a knee-high boot, and some people are like die-hard ankle boot fans, so let me know which one is your favourite. Where do I even start? Right, start for him. I'm so excited about this first item. This, oh my god, it feels so soft. I cannot wait to put this on. This is a like midi knit gray dress. I literally have no words other than I'm excited for how excited I am to try this on. It's got a lovely wide roll neck. I feel like this is one that could easily stretch over my face with makeup on it. It has a tight waist as well, which is something that I love in a midi dress, especially if it's a knit and it's a little bit more slouchy. It just kind of pulls you in a little bit at the waist and gives you a bit more shape. It does look like it might be quite long on me. For reference, if you are new here, I am five foot two. I love the color of it. It's such a lovely bright gray. I really don't like like a dull gray. And I have this in a size six to eight. I went a size down. Normally, you guys will know I normally get a 10, but things tend to be slightly baggy on me and it wasn't something that I wanted to be particularly baggy. So I sized down. Oh my God, you guys, this dress is so cute. I love this. It's so soft. It's going to be just like one of those perfect like lounging around the house outfits but that could work if you need to like run out somewhere or post lockdown, visit someone's house, you know that kind of vibe. It's one of those easy pieces that can take you from like sofa to the outside world and I love that. It's so cosy, so comfy. My mum looks decent in this as well. I'll give it that. This dress is actually doing a little bit for me and I really like that. So I paired it with a little black bag and just like a really simple pair of trainers, nothing too crazy, but this would look really cute with a pair of black 
like chunky ankle boots as well so I'll show you that as well. So this is the dress with my chunky ankle boots and this is a nice one because the ankle boots are the perfect length that you just get a little bit of leg peeking through so that you're not just all clothing. Sometimes that works and I love it but with midi dresses I do like to have like just a tiny bit of leg showing through whether it's due to a slit down the side or literally just a little bit of leg poking out between the skirt and my like ankle boots and to go with the ankle boots I've kept with the black bag so I think the two black leathers just work really nicely together. So this is the dress without any fur or anything kind of like over it just so you can see I'm really really happy with it like the sizing is perfect like I'm really happy that I went a size down next up we have this cardigan which is the most beautiful kind of like biscuity oatmeal color it's so gorgeous it feels so soft it's got lovely little like tortoiseshell buttons down it but it's like a V shape and then it goes into the buttons I think this is gonna be so cute I love like it feels like a loose knit rather than a really like tight structured knit that's gonna be a little bit stiffer it feels like it's gonna be really slouchy just a lovely one for wearing around the house I think there's a few other bits in this order as well that this would work really nicely with too and I got this in a size 10 so it'll be a little bit slouchy on me and have a really nice fit oh my god so excited to try this on the color of it is just gorgeous I really love this kind of beigey neutral tone I think it does good things for like my skin tone and my hair color and all of that but it's just a lovely versatile color for everyone really so this is the cardigan on I love it I love it so much it is like the perfect cozy at home piece without being too like bulky it's not like itchy there's not too much going on on it it's just a really nice easy throw on cardigan and I love it I love the tone of it I just think it's brilliant I'm really happy with it it's also oversized enough that you could do it up and wear it with like a pair of like jeans or leggings and have it like a little bit off shoulder love a little bit of off shoulder and if you're wearing like jeans you could like tuck it in as well and I think that'd be really cute in addition to lovely like cozy pieces I did pick up a lot of basics misguided are one of the brands that I go to for my basics because I always find everything fits really really well and is in a style that is very me and I just find I get the most wear out of their kind of basics so we have a ribbed high neck crop long sleeve like jumpery top kind of vibe i cannot tell you how much wear i get out of stuff like this i have a black one that's not a roll neck and i wear it so much but actually this time of year i really love a high neck i would say it's one of the styles of jumper or top that i get the most wear out of and they just work so well like layered under pieces but also on their own as well they're very very versatile and i just know that i will get so much wear out of this it feels so soft really really impressed with how soft everything is feeling it's making me so happy so this is the high neck ribbed crop jumper i really love this is so cute perfect fit really happy with it it's just going to be perfect for like either layering pieces like i said earlier but also like if i'm around the house and i want to wear like black trackies but look cute and pulled together and a little bit chic i think this works really nicely paired with black tracksuit bottoms as well with the current situation we're in in the uk especially going into repeat lockdowns i'm obviously spending so much more time at home so i think that's definitely impacting the things that i'm purchasing i'm purchasing a lot more basics a lot more cozy at home items and i'm really here for it because it is honestly my favorite kind of dressing apart from like summer dresses because we all know i love that but loungewear and at home vibes they really are just just my fave don't get me wrong i still love a coat but the cozy at home vibes they are just really speaking to me right now what's my hair doing honestly i if you see me fiddling with my hair a bit too much in this video it's because it's freshly washed and i've got lots of like wispy bits and i really just should have tamed them but i cba i'm not seeing anybody i say that but i'm seeing you guys so really i should have i should have made the effort but anyway off the back of my i love a high neck chat i won't bore you with it anymore but we all know we all know now i picked up this midi dress it's like a fitted ribbed high neck long sleeve this is something that i have been after for so long now i keep saying to myself like hun you need to like get yourself this in like maybe a midi and then maybe a shorter one and misguided came through for me i'm so happy because i've got some really lovely coats like when i eventually do leave the house i obviously wear like my high neck jumpers like in black with like black skinnies but actually if i wanted to wear a dress i don't have anything that is kind of like the same vibe but like in dress form so i made a mental note to myself that when i was next doing an online shop i would try and find something high necked but that is like in dress form and like i said misguided came through i'm excited to try this on i got a size eight again so that it would be more fitted on me i really didn't want this to be too loose i just find i get a lot of excess material kind of like ruching up in that case but yeah i think this is going to be a good one it's going to work really well with like long trench coats not to be a broken record but i think i have some things coming up in the order that i think this will work really beautifully underneath i feel really good that i finally got my hands on that i think there is also a shorter version of it coming up which i'm very excited about oh the sun has come out oh where have you been 
Where have you been? So this is the black mini dress. I actually read it wrong. I read out midi dress. This is the mini dress and I'll show you the midi dress next so you can compare the lengths and see which one you prefer. It's going to be the perfect autumn winter basic to have in my wardrobe. It's going to work perfectly under so many different coats and jackets. I need to dig out my coats from the loft so I can start styling them with a cute little midi like high neck underneath it. I think it will look so cute. But for now I've just paired it with a brown bag, tan croc shoes. I think this works really nicely at adding an autumnal twist to a basic black dress and this is a dress that could work for both daytime or even nighttime it's very versatile a really nice easy piece to keep in your wardrobe so yeah i'm very happy with this the fit is really lovely the neck is not too high which makes me so happy because i hate a roll neck that like sits here i can't stomach them for very long they're an out the house kind of vibe when you're seeing people and the second you get home you take it off but this is a really nice easy piece that i could wear both around the house but then also out as well so yeah very happy so just for comparison, this is the midi dress from Misguided, which I think will be so perfect if you are average height or above. If you're taller, you're gonna love it, but for girls that are like five foot two or under, this is definitely, well, maybe, it depends on your preference, but this is not for me. I don't love how far this comes down. This is more of a maxi length for me. The midi dress is a definite winner and I love it, but I will still keep hunting for a midi dress that is like the perfect length. Back on the cozy at home vibes, I have a cold. So this is a really thin knit crop top with a black and white thread running through it. So it's like basically a gray from a distance, but it has a really lovely texture to it. It is like a bat wing kind of crop. So it looks crazy when I hold it out like that, but I think it's gonna be really cute. And then it also comes with the matching ribs leggings as well. This is lockdown cozy at home goals right here. I'm so excited to try these on, I hope they fit. I got them in a size small. I think they're gonna be cute. If you're wondering if I have different colored pairs of slippers to match different colored like loungewear, pajama outfits, you'd be right. Yeah, I do. So I've put on my black fluffy pair to go with this cute little like gray cord set. I really like this. I was just not sure. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be stretchy enough for me because obviously I did pick, I think I picked a size down. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna be right, but I'm so happy with the fit and the length as well. The length was definitely a little bit too long, but I've been able to roll the bottoms up, which I'm so happy about. They've rolled up really nicely, which is great because it means that if you're shorter, you can do that. And if you're taller, it's just gonna fit you fine. So I do feel like this will cater for lots of different heights. Yeah, I just think it's really cute, really nice, easy piece to lounge around the house in. I'm very happy with this one. And I like the length of the crop as well. It's not too short and it's not too long. There are some crops on me that just don't really look like a crop top. This one is much better, much cuter. <sighs> yeah, good ordering, Suze. Well done. This and the other loungewear bits are going to get me through lockdown. I'm gonna be so cute and so comfy. And then I also picked up some coated skinny kind of legging jeans. Are these leggings or are they? Yeah, skinny jeans. I've never tried denim from Misguided before, so I'm excited to give it a try. I picked up a size 10. So we will see how we go, see what the length is like. Like I said, never tried Misguided denim before. So if like me, you are vertically challenged, we can test this out together. So these are the coated jeans. I forgot to mention that they actually have like a slit at the bottom, which I love and I've been looking for something like this for ages. However, I do think that I could have got a size up. There's just a bit too much material here, a size up, a size down. So I got a 10 and I think I could have done with an eight just to get rid of like the excess material that I have here. But apart from that, I think they're so cool. I don't know. I think these are a bit of a Marmite product, but I really like them and I've seen them styled a lot with like just really simple sandals, which I like. But I think they could also look cute with the trainer as well, so I'm gonna try that. So I definitely prefer the flare with the sandal for sure. But let me know what you think. Do you hate this trend of like the slit in the trouser? Do you love it? I wanna know. So next we have this kind of nude toned loungewear jumpsuit. You guys will know if you followed my Instagram this time last year, this kind of thing I was just obsessed with. It is just like the perfect wintry kind of like, I wanna throw something on and I wanna be warm, but I also wanna look cute and pulled together kind of vibe. These things just make dressing so easy. I have a couple of black ones, which I love, and they are also super handy for when you are fake tanning as well. Like you just throw it on and it's kind of like a little bit loose, but you're fully covered and just perfect for like fake tanning in the winter. But I also have like a gray t-shirt one, but I don't have a nude one with like a long sleeve. And I really like this for that. It's got like a tie waist. I need to give this a little steam. I need to locate the steamer. But yeah, I love the tone of it and hopefully it fits me well. It's gonna be an absolute gem throughout lockdown. You guys, I really like this one. I was originally like, when I got it out of the packaging, I was like, yeah, 
I think it's gonna be cute, but I'm just really struggling to kind of like see it because it's just a really thin, flimsy material, you know, when you hold it up and you're like, is this gonna be cute? Like, it looked cute on the model, but I'm just not sure. It is so cute, I'm so happy with it. It has pockets, it has pockets. I love it. I think it's gonna look really cute, like a pair of slippers for now to kind of give you the at home vibes. But I think it's gonna look so cute with like a chunky kind of like leather jacket or even like a big coat and trainers. I think that would look really cute. This is gonna be one that I probably end up cracking out with my misguided white faux fur. I don't know why I do this. Whenever I do that coat, it's because when I wear the faux fur coat, I stroke it. Oh my god. Anyway, so yeah, I think it's gonna look so cute with that. I'm gonna have to go up into the loft this afternoon, I think, and dig that coat out because this is gonna be the perfect like little bit of loungewear to put underneath it for when I'm at home and I need to go to the shop and I really can't be bothered to like change. This is the perfect like day-to-day -day working from home. I don't actually want to get dressed, but I kind of need to get dressed attire, you know? You know? Because I don't work in my pajamas, I feel like I need to state that because I know a lot of people that have started working from home this year are like, oh, I just wear my pajamas all the time. And I'm like, no, you need to get dressed. So this is it with a pair of trainers and a leather jacket. And I just think it's so cute. It just works. I'm very happy with this. One thing that I also love about the majority of the items I picked up is they have like little buttons at the back. I don't know if there's more than one. I might have missed it. So ignore if it looks a mess. They have buttons at the back. So I've managed to get pretty much everything in this video on so far without like messing up my makeup. Even like all of the roll necks have been super stretchy. And that is something that I love. Probably something that no one else but me thinks about, but I really, I'm here for it, you know? But yeah, anyway, this is cute and i'm very happy with it and i need to stop talking about it next we have another jumpsuit i'm gonna wear this so much like if you know me well you will be looking at this like yeah we're gonna be seeing this a lot this is gonna be an absolute gem in my wardrobe it's another jumpsuit it's got a tie waist it's basically like trackies on the bottom and then like a black kind of vest top on the top which is just like my actual uniform that i would normally wear about the house but in like a one piece i love it i've got a size 10 i don't think they had an eight available because i think i would have got an eight if they had had an eight available but they might have restocked so it's worth checking if you are interested in this and you usually take an eight i am obsessed I can't wait to try this on. You know when you just see something and you just know that it's gonna make your dressing life so much easier in the morning? This is one of those pieces. This is like, yeah, this is my everything. If you work from home, stuff like this will just make your life so easy. Trust me, because I've been doing this now for six years. Six years. Six years of sitting on my own at home every single day, literally talking to myself. Wow, but yeah, I love that. Can't wait to try that on, fingers crossed. The leg length works for me. My only criticism of this black jumpsuit is in true like girl style, it doesn't have pockets. I feel like that's such a like girl thing. We love something until we realize something doesn't have pockets and then it's like, huh, where am I meant to put my hands when I feel awkward, you know? Or at least that's why I use pockets. But aside from that, so happy with it. I really like the fact it has a drawstring waist as well. So even if you wanted to go a size up to like cater for parts of your body, you can still cinch it in at the waist. And I think that's really nice. And then we have its khaki green sister with like a t-shirt sleeve. It's kind of like a, a longer t-shirt sleeve, I think. I think this is gonna be really cute. It looks great on the model. So again, drawstring waist. It feels like tracky bottoms. They both feel like tracky bottom material, but kind of the whole way through. I really like that. I think they're gonna be so snuggly. They're like a thicker material, not like a jerk. But yeah, I got this in a size 10. Let's see how we go. So weirdly with the new jumpsuit, I wasn't sure on it when I pulled it out of the bag, but when I tried it on, I loved it. This one I felt so sure on when I got it out of the bag and I was showing it to you guys originally, but now trying it on, I'm just not so sure. I'm not sure, what do we think? I think it's a bit too boxy, maybe around my top half. And it was quite long on the length. I think if you are taller, this is gonna be an absolute gem. I'm really sad about this though, because I love the color of this. Uh, I just, I'm not in love with it. So I think this one is probably a no, but I love the color. And I think there are some people that would look so amazing on because the model looked incredible in this. I think it's maybe just a little bit too boxy for my body shape, but so cute, I love the color. Next up we have another jumpsuit, which I really liked because it's more of a like a jersey fabric. It's a bit thinner in its texture. So I think this will see you like all year round, which I like. It's got a little bit more longevity to it and it's not just good for winter. It has a tie waist. And I believe the fit of this is actually like a tighter fit. So it's kind of gonna be like a vest top and then almost like loose leggings on the bottom. I'm excited to see how this looks on. It looks cute on the model. So again, fingers crossed. I got this in a size 10. So we'll see. I might have needed an eight, I'm not sure. So 
fingers crossed. So this is the thinner black jumpsuit and I'm really glad I ordered both. Like I do this quite a lot. I will order more than one style of things that are similar because actually I'm not really sure which one I'm going to prefer. So normally I end up sending one back and definitely preferring one more than the other. I'm not sure if I prefer the thicker black jumpsuit as opposed to the thinner material. This one doesn't feel as soft, but it is a little bit more fitted. And I'm not sure if I'm into that. I don't know. I like the little bow detail, it's cute. I like the fact that it fits me much better across the length of my like chest and torso. What do you think? I'm not sure. I don't know, I actually can't decide between the two. Let me know in the comments which one you think is better. This next item I'm really excited about because I think it's gonna do me really well for now, but also very much in like spring, summer as well. So I'm definitely gonna get the wear of this one. It's this lovely, again, like biscuity, nudie toned, cami top midi dress. And it's a jersey material, but with like a rib to it. Hopefully not too see-through, but I think this is gonna be really lovely. I love this tone. Again, it works really well with my skin tone and my hair color. I think this will be so cute with like trainers with like a leather jacket over the top or even like a big coat. I think that works really well. You know, around the festive season, you've always got that family member whose house you go into and it is boiling, but outside it is like the Arctic. And you're like, how do I dress for this? This is how I would dress for that house. And trust me, that's definitely a situation that I end up in like on a weekly basis. So yeah, I think this is gonna work really beautifully with like a, maybe a chunky, like a fluffy coat. I think this could work really nicely with that, but also with leather jackets as well for when it's a little bit cooler. So yeah, fingers crossed, it's not too long on me. We will see. <laughs> so this is the nude toned midi dress. I love this. It is maybe a tiny bit see-through, I think on the legs. I think you might be able to, like I said, I think I've said already in this video, it's so dark in here, so I can't actually, really see a lot. But I think you might be able to see my leg tattoos through this, but that is an issue that really only I have. It's kind of the equivalent of wearing like black underwear under a dress, you know? You're probably gonna see it. But for the fact that it is such a light color, I was expecting them to shine through a lot more. So I'm actually quite impressed at how much it is kind of like covering. This looks so cute with these trainers and this jacket, but I also think this would look really cute with like a pair of slippers and a cute cardigan. Like the cardigan in this video, which I believe you've already seen, when you're like lounging around the house, I think it's a really nice like versatile option. And I really like wearing pieces like this around the house because a lot of the time I end up wearing trackies and like a huge oversized jumper. And I feel like a bit of a potato. And sometimes it's just nice to remind myself that like there is a body under there. And I really love wearing stuff like this around the house. It just makes me feel cute, but super comfortable at the same time. And as you guys will have seen over the summer, I did wear a lot of like knitted midi dresses. So this is kind of like my winter take on it, just a bit more neutral and a bit less of a seasonal color really. I feel like this will be in my wardrobe for years and years and years, literally until it falls apart. So I think we have maybe one more item that is kind of like a little bit lounge wary. And then I think we're getting into some like bougie fun bits so this one is like the ultimate like loungewear chic it's kind of like that sweater material but in a midi dress in black it's got a tie waist i think there was a green one that i tried on in a haul and in like early autumn time and i really liked it but in terms of like the color i just wasn't sure we'll see how the length will go with this for me but this could be like the ultimate like lounging around the house but still wanting to look chic kind of vibe we will see i got this in a size 12. You know sometimes when you ask yourself what you were playing? Yeah, it could be like a nice oversized vibe, so we'll see. So I've been filming for so long now that it's actually basically dark. It's half three and in the UK that is basically like night time. I actually feel like the sun is starting to go down so I need to speed this up. So the black midi dress, I actually really like. Another one that I wasn't sure of when I got it out of the bag, but I'm like, yeah. This is cute. It works nicely with trainers. It's got a side slit, so you've got a little bit of movement in there. You've got a little bit of leg coming out, which is quite nice. It means that it caters well to being worn like maybe outside the house if you wanted to pair it with like a chunky leather boot. This would look really cute. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now, but I thought I'd also show you what the trainers look like, just so you can get a like cash vibe and like a 2021 when we're actually allowed outside kind of vibe. I don't know what this is. So this is it with the chunky boots and a bag. I think a smooth leather boot works really nicely with a more like casual style fabric rather than like a croc kind of like painting or any kind of shiny leather I think is a bit too dressy for this. So any smooth leather boot really will work nicely. And I've gone for the same with the bag as well. And the gold detailing just kind of adds a little bit of like something to the look which i really like i really like it i like the tie waist like i said i like the side slit i'm actually pleasantly surprised 
buy this one it's very cute so next we have a little shirt dress this has a drawstring waist it's in this gorgeous autumnal greeny tone like check print oh i love it i'm hoping the length of this is going to be good on me because i can envision this with like my black lace up boots and it would look so cute so autumnal and i feel like the check isn't that drastic that it would be too much on me like sometimes i just think check is like way too much on me i think i might just be able to like pass this one because the check is similar tones when you have like a black and white and it's really bold or like lots of contrasting colors like there was one that i tried on that was i think had reds and blues in it and then like cream tones and browns it was too much but this actually has lots of similar tones in the check so i think this one could be a good one for me We'll see. You guys, this is actually a play suit. I did not realize that when I ordered this. What is wrong with me? Why do I not realize these things? Anyway, what do we think? Do we like it more now? Do we like it less? I've decided to style it with brown accessories because there is a little bit of like a brown thread running through the check. So it works and I think it also helps to warm the outfit up slightly and give it a very like autumnal vibe. What do we think? I think it's cute. I haven't worn a play suit in a very long time, but I actually really like it. What do we think? I feel nervous because I actually haven't worn a play suit in so long. It's very autumnal though. It's a vibe and I like it. So next we have two leather jackets. I'm going to put pictures of these on screen because I think they're going to be really hard to kind of show you how they're meant to look just holding them up. This one is definitely easier, but I have this in two colours. I could not decide on which colour to get. So I thought I would ask you guys which ones you prefer and which one I should keep. I love this style of leather jacket. It's one that I've seen quite a few people wearing. I've definitely seen, I think Lorna Lux wears one that is like this with like the big floaty like lapel collar bits. And then it's like more cropped in its length and has like a little tie bit around the waist. And I've always thought they were so cute and really wanted one. I love the creamy tone of this one, but obviously black is such a staple. So I couldn't decide. So I thought I would show you guys both and see what you guys think and which one you think I should keep so this is the black leather jacket this is going to be so hard to show because leather jackets just black anything to be honest just doesn't like showing up on camera but hopefully because it's a little bit sheeny you'll be able to see it's actually really lovely for the high street like it's not got too much of a sheen to it like some leather jackets do i actually really like the finish of it i love how like the sleeves are a little bit puffy they come in at the cuff you can undo the cuff if you want but i like how it kind of is a little bit bulkier here i really like i said earlier i really like the lapels on this is that what you call it or like the collar and then you also have a little belt here as well that you can use to kind of cinch it in a little bit but i think having a crossbody bag does that really well as well if you just like can't be bothered with the faff this is how i will probably wear it and i also like the fact that it comes down a little bit lower at the back as well so if you're wearing like leather look leggings or any kind of legging really where you want your bum a little bit more covered this works really nicely so yeah it's very cute i'm really looking forward to trying on the cream one i think it will be so cute with more neutral outfits yeah let me know what you think i don't know if these are a bit of a like love it or hate it kind of vibe so this is the e crew chunky leather jacket i am obsessed with this if you haven't seen already you will see coming up in this video how i've styled it here but i love this i don't have a leather jacket in this color in my wardrobe and this is just so perfect it works really nicely with this new color underneath but i also think it will work really nicely at kind of brightening up a all black outfit but also with like tans and lovely autumnal neutrals i think it will work really beautifully so very very happy with this we may have another high neck that snuck its way into the order i don't know how it got in here this is basically the nudie cream version of the black ribbed midi dress that i showed you guys earlier and like i was saying i just think this is gonna be such a staple this with like a pair of big black chunky boots or trainers would look so cute i'm gonna get so much wear out of these as long as they fit i will get so much wear out of these i will wear them to death i know it so this is the nude mini dress and this i just love so easy to wear works perfectly with like literally everything that i've pulled to style with all of these pieces i'm like yeah it could work with black chunky boots it will work with the tan croc boots it will work for my trainers like there's so many different things that this will work with so i'm really happy with this i'm really happy with the fit of it it's not see-through at all i don't think i am really happy with this really really happy with this i actually think misguided is so underrated for a good basic they're one that i always come back to but i'm not sure everyone thinks of them for good basics but this is so like thick and nice and soft and it's like the perfect neutral color i am very very happy with so this is the more casual way in which I'd style this, but I'll show you how to kind of like warm it up a little bit for autumn. Guys, this is so cute. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you just have a vision and it just really works out. I mean, I don't know if this is going to come off on camera, but 
I am happy with this look. This jacket is so cute for one. Like, oh, I just can't. Back to the dress. Anyway, so I just, I think it looks so cute underneath this jacket. We've got kind of like a little chunky leather jacket situation going on. I've got my tan crop boots. Just really helps to warm the whole look up really beautifully. If I had my little white Givenchy bag, this would be perfect. This would be so perfect. Such good autumn winter basics. And then the pièce de résistance. If you guys have followed me for a long time, you'll know that I love the misguided teddy bear coats. One of the things I love the most about misguided is the fact that they do bring things back year after year. I've had my black and tan teddy bear coats from them for years and every year they come back and it just, it makes me so happy because it means you guys can also get your hands on them and I don't have to just like try and find similar. Like I can give you the link every year to the exact coat and it makes me so happy. This year I decided to add the cream Borg teddy bear coat to my collection. This one actually has zips along the pockets, which my other ones don't have, but I thought it was like kind of vibey. But this will be an absolute staple for me. Last year, I actually picked up the kind of white faux fur long coat from them and I loved it. And honestly, I can't wait to get it back out the loft. It's in storage up there. And I tried to take it out recently, ready for like autumn. And Lauren was like, no, no, you can have that back out in winter. And I was like, but I want it now. I miss that coat so much. Honestly, I just loved it so much. That was like an all white or all cream, all neutral outfit underneath. Just really, that was it for me in my autumn winter style. I loved it. And I think this will be a really nice one. To add a little bit more texture, I really like the kind of Borg teddy bear coats for adding texture to an outfit because faux fur, you can't really see the texture so much. But this is obviously a much chunkier texture and I really love that. And it also doesn't look like it's going to be too long either. So I think this would be a good option if you are a little bit more short like myself. And finally, we have the cream Borg teddy bear coat. It's so cute. I love, I just love the texture that it adds to an outfit. It's so beautiful. And everyone always asks me, where I get my teddy bear coats from. I think every single one bar one is misguided. They just do the best teddy bear coats. I literally, I can't wait to dig them out, but also very happy that I have a cream one to add to the collection. Cause you know how much I love my cream and white tones. And I think this will be a great addition to my wardrobe. Let me know, what do you think? Do you like it? I think it works really nicely to brighten up an all black outfit. I've just got the thinner jumpsuit on underneath this. And I think it looks really cute with that. And then my like black and white trainers, it's all very like kind of like coordinated and I like that. I literally feel like a little polar bear. So let me know which items were your favorites in the comments. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you're all having a really lovely day. And that is it from me. I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.